invade. Uh, no, when we have the weakest invade. So I usually just stand here, and if something happens, something happens. Because if somebody gets close, I'll just cue them in the face and run away. Like I mean, it's not fantastic. bad, but I would prefer you to, to watch the top side just because nobody's up there. I know he put a ward there, but that still doesn't stop them from putting wards or like going in there and invading. Just little stuff like that. Like if you could just that's make your, your team's game easy, that's the best way to climb. A lot of people think you have to carry your team. You have to. It's not really about that. It's about how easy can you make this game for them. Right. So they'll be able to do everything. It's funny, I found you uh, by watching your How to Play Yumi Properly video. Really? Yeah, because my girlfriend, um, she's trying to climb this season as a Yumi main. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, fair enough. But most people see her as a very low um, agency champion. Right. Yeah, I get that a lot. My girlfriend climbed with Yumi. She wanted Yumi um, when she came out, so did a lot of time playing that champ, teaching that champ. Ah, shit. Oh, that was nice. The poke. Dang it. She's kind of just letting me do it. Yeah, I know. But I'm taking advantage of it really well. Wrong way. Keep forgetting, I have to dodge upward with that. She hit me before I hit her. And again. So gay. Did you flash? Yeah, flash. You have to think about what side their jungler started on, because that's going to be the side he's going to pop out. Or the other side is going to be what he's going to pop out on. Yeah. Oh, I still have a health potion. <laughs> yeah, it's probably coming from the top, if anywhere. Right, so you should put your body towards the bottom. Oh, I actually seen him bottom. I just seen him on the map. Pretty good. Huh. Right here, just let the wave push to you. You don't really have to hit her with the lasers. Because oh, gotcha. if she's going to recall or overextend and die, you give her the choice. Okay, so that we, know she, we know that she recalled. So you could do two things. You could stay and just kind of continue to hold this wave because you don't have an item specific. Or you can try to recall as well. If I were you, especially playing a control mage, I would just wait it out. There's really no reason to recall right now. All right. Yeah, because all I can afford is a tome. Mm -hmm. And really, she loses a cannon, I do not. Exactly. Yeah. She's serious, jeez. I was not expecting that. He goes on his way. Just clear away and recall. You got this. Oh no, don't tell me it's gonna be a remake. No, no, it can't be a remake. I think Twitch is late. Yeah, I think he's just roaming. Breath, you had enough for a pot. Don't be afraid to take those. 
Because you're, oh, you're yeah? going to be in lane for a while anyway. Okay. I usually don't get pots after, like, the first go. Really? Yeah. I only get the first pot, and then I don't get any more, usually. Yeah, it's definitely dependent on your matchup, but you guys are, like, trading pretty heavily. Um, it's definitely important that you get it. Maybe in a matchup, we're not doing anything. Whoa, there, big guy. <laughs> that guy's serious. Yeah, that was kind of great. She should be dead here. Nice. Good flash. Thank you. Yeah, like, I get that he wanted to get his electrocute proc off, but was it worth it? You know, that guy's crazy. I'm gonna push this in. Yep. You can even ask your jungler too if you need the help. Ah, uh, yep. Mm. In situations like that, there's a clearly, clearly nothing you could really do, so ping that guy back. You can't really help that guy. You have no mana. Those are situations are that are which are gonna cost you your games. Because okay. now you're backing a little bit later, based off of the fact that this guy yeah, was trying she's... to fight. Well, at least it's a cannon wave and she can't push it as fast. But... This guy helps. Oh no, he's leaving. He helps. You can get a uh, Dark Seal if you want. I think it's a good buy. You think so? Yeah. You can get yourself a pot. Oh. Here you go. Now, you don't want to buy pots all the time, but again, you know, technically Early you just game. want to stay in lane as long as possible here. Dark Seal is very helpful because it's it's oh, allowing shoot. you to scale without actually having to get kills. You can just help people and get assists. Well, ah, uh, that was my fault. I did not ping. Can you Wasn't paying attention. See what's happening. Yeah, you can help. You actually probably can kill. They walk into him. Because Aatrox is 5, your VA goes 6, this is free. Be careful. Mm. But keep your distance. You're doing good. <laughs> Caitlyn's on her way. Yeah. That's okay. So that was actually a really, really good fight. Um, it was just execution. That's it. Yeah. I think that you played that pretty well anyway. Well, thank you. Um, how could I have played it better? Like, Positioning is um, way better. The thing is, you weren't really thinking about what can hurt you or what can catch you. It was more of I was thinking about their HP bars. You probably were thinking about like where I should be, but there's little things that hit you that shouldn't have hit you if you were just more aware of what was hitting you. That's all. That's and like all. the Swain Claw and... Yeah. Right, right. We can go over that fight too. So I'm gonna mark that. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it was still played well in my opinion, so I wouldn't trip too much. No, never mind. You missed, I didn't. Oh, she also has a dark seal. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. I don't think, don't think I should have been that far up, I guess. Yeah, some of these champs, even if they are behind, they have tons of kill potential. You can just go your boots. 
get that early spike. Actually, usually I get defensive boots against assassins instead of offensive. Is that a good idea? I can see that. This particular game, that's not really going to be that much helpful. Oop. Shit. Um, I mean, you're probably going to have to get a Banshee's Veil this game, so that'll be your magic resist. So yeah, go to your source for bullets. Now, you don't want to go too crazy into the magic resist, but this is where we think a little bit ahead. I know that the Banshee's Veil this game is going to be crucial because of the Aatrox, the Swain, the Diana. There's just too much that can... Uh, Kill you. It, the, you know, like there's just way too much, way too much. So you're gonna need that, and then you're gonna get hourglass pretty soon, so you don't really need tabs. But I definitely think there are some games where that's important. Don't get me wrong, but this one in particular, like, it's not really gonna do much for you. You're caught, you're dead. So you want to try to make it so you don't get caught. All right. Careful, I know she can hop two minions and hop on you. The double dash. Yeah. You can call a drag here. We know that their jungler's dead. We know that their mid laner's kind of shoved up here. And we also know that their bot lane just got kicked out. So we should be able to win this. Mind your spacing. You want to be more towards the, your jungle so you can run away if you have to fight. There you go. Like towards that blue buff halfway. As soon as you see danger, you're running. Nice, we're okay. out. Bring them back so your team doesn't do anything stupid. Good, good, good. Nice. Easy. Sometimes playing the game, again, is just about telling them what to do because they don't really understand. Your Viego got a free kill on the jungler. Why is that not a free dragon to him? Who knows? But if you could tell this guy it's a free dragon, you get a free dragon. So. All right. Mord, we can swap. How's Mord doing? Oh, Mord's doing terribly. <laughs> He's only 2-0, too. He's chilling. No, you're right. His farm's not oh, his, his farm's farm better than mine right now, actually. You're scrapping, though. Aatrox right there. Careful. Viego's backing, so you know you're not going to have a player on the map for quite some time. Yeah. Oh, he just... He just wants to have a drive-by. He's probably going to the jungler's camps. Ah. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, he's going top. I don't need to go top. Right. You're, you're win conditions bot side. So we played a bottom. Right here, you could just shove up. You're not going to make it in time. You can continue to watch that play if need be, but you, you might not be able to make it. Yeah, you see, if you would have rotated for no reason, like, it wouldn't have made sense. Yeah. So you can auto attack and start happen. walking towards Viego. Viego's fighting, so try to get there before Diana does. Being on your way. Yep. Go around. Yep. Doing good. Diana's behind you, so you can actually look to one shot her if you uh, turn around. Just keep in mind she's behind you. Oh, nice. Good. Well, she just gave me that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, don't don't commit too much onto one play. You can go My ahead and cannon. go back. Go back, go back, go back. They got mid. Okay. Okay, so he's probably dead here. Can you catch him? Ah, he's gone. I will damage on him, though. Abe will get my first strike. Actually, Abe will get my mythic. Twitch is MIA. Ping your mid laner back. We know that Twitch is probably going to pop out. <clears throat> well, not your mid laner, but, you know. Use red ping so that they know. Yellow pings are very quiet. Red pings are something to, like, really get their attention. Keep pushing bottom. 
There's no reason to back because, you know, nobody else is recalling. There's no play to be made anyway. So what are you recalling to get back on the map for? Also, you're not in any danger. They're chasing top. So you can pretty much chill. Okay, we know Diana could be coming, so just be careful. Oh, she's still top. So we have four mid and top so far. Where's number five? The Blade fight seems swings. to have gone in our favor, too. Okay, Twitch is still my... Dude, that guy is freaking serious. Hmm. If Twitch pops out, I could be dead, though. Right. Oh, yeah. that's swingy. Oh, just run away. Yep. So in situations like that where you're unsure, it's okay to sit in the fog. Like, not like a bush, but like just walk back and just read how everybody's doing. Because sometimes if you leave the area of the wave, the person that was coming to stop you will rotate somewhere else. And then you just pop back out and be like, okay, thank you for the tower. You know? So That is what I'd usually do is uh, set when I'm split pushing. Right, it's the same concept. Kind of hang back. Same concept. You got it. Okay, usually I end up with Shadow Flame next. Um, I definitely go defensive. So whether it's Hourglass or Banshees. Okay. Only reason I'm saying this is because we've been caught so many times. Not like you suck or anything like that, but this is just really hard to avoid all of them. So it might as well just set yourself up for success. There's no shame in building defensive, especially with a champ like yours. People just think, go damage, go damage. It's like, well, dude, I'm gonna die and then I don't have any damage. You can probably make it to that fight. Keep looking. Alright, that's where I can make it there. Yep. Make it and go rip. Come on, Caitlyn. Stay in the dang field, dude. Call it uh, Rip Terrell. That's free. Alright, so that right there, you played fine. That was Caitlyn just trying to run away instead of really sitting on your trap. But I think you played that really well. You would have saved her if she just thought about it. <laughs> yeah, if she just said, oh, this is going to stun him. Yeah, and she's melee, so there's really no excuse why I can be like, it's not going to go to that trap. <laughs> All right. Take the orb. I don't ever trust anybody with it. If you feel like you're not good enough using it, you need to start learning. But take it before he takes it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. That's all right. Because sometimes people just waste it. Like, this Mordecai could just drop it top, even though that tower is about to go down anyway. Like, that type of stuff. I mean, you probably will. Yeah, I <laughs> get some of my nerves. It's like, we could have two to three towers, man. That's why, as the jungler, I, I do my best not to let anybody else get it. Because mm -hmm. it's like, no, you're just going to drop it at a top turret, lose us agency, you know. Exactly. And again, it's okay if they're already doing it and you happen to just help. But, like, if you're... There at the start. You see what I'm saying? Like, I knew he was yeah. gonna do that. I knew it. Oh my gosh. And there it goes. If he, okay, at least he got the tower. I guess. But. Yeah, but it was like 20% anyway. Yeah. See if you can take that guy's blue. Is he gonna give it to you? Oh. The other blue. The other blue. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because you were looking at his red, so it was like the other. Blue. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I'm not used to having uh, ear noises. Uh, oh, now my ear noise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, usually I'm listening to music, but I feel you, so ah, I can't play league without music. Back away from this. Nobody's here but her. You're gonna die. Okay. Yeah, it's not your problem. She shouldn't have been there. Nope. Might tried seem to very help. cold, but that's how it works, especially in high. Tried to help her with the W, but again, she doesn't want to use it. Now. Okay, so you see Mordecai's are like pushing middle. If we can kind of hold them here, but don't fully commit, but try to hold them until Mord's done. All right, Mord Finis. I don't know what the hell he's doing. So, well. Now you notice like the mid lane, the mid game portion is about playing off your team. It's not about telling your team what to do. It's not about getting them to do the right thing. It's about, well, again, how can I set you up? How can I make the game easier? And what can I take advantage of with you being what you're doing? It's like, what's my team doing? How can I take advantage of what my team's doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Like that's a free three kills right there. Just cause she got caught. I'll be careful. More your nope. full HP, bro. <laughs> what are you afraid of? <laughs> like she left. Oh, and more. Oh, this guy's freaking crazy. What is happening? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, we get out of here. Like, let's, let's get out of here. Like, we don't need that. Why are we going? Our no, jungler no, is no, dead. No, 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 don't no, no. Just a fucking. <laughs> we are not getting that Baron. Just. Oh my, oh god. my god. Okay, you might as well help, dude. This is one of those yeah, things that aren't gonna stop. But if they die, it's gonna be really tragic. Uh... But make sure okay. you can get out of that play. That's the name of the game. Well, I do have flash. Oh. Okay. We got it. That should not Some have worked, but yellow. Just because it worked doesn't mean it was a good play. Exactly. Should I sell Dorns for this? Definitely. All right. Get a pink. Oh. And get a uh, and blue streak. Yep. Perfect. Beautiful. 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 I don't always remember to switch to blue trinket. I don't know either. But when I do, I get Dosakis. One of my students flames me for having poor vision score. My excuse, I always have Rift Herald, so I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> that is my excuse. Oh, shoot. Oh, hey, a Twitch. Wild Twitch. Mm. Yeah. See, if I were Twitch, I would have gone up and around myself. So, at the uh, oh, wow! Yeah, he didn't have enough time. It's not me as Twitch. <laughs> I would have just walked back uh, around Victor, probably. You can continue to push bottom. Yeah. Let me get this. Free. It's free money. So, what are you rewarding? You have to think about like what wards are going to give you the most information. That ward you put in that tri-bush isn't going to help you because you're pushing past it. That makes sense? So you want to ward for like the location you're going to be in. Like here or here? Yep, exactly. They're okay. fighting, not your problem. They can pretty much handle it themselves. There's plays like that that you want to identify, like I don't have to rotate, and you can continue to do what you want to do. Problem is if you over-rotate, and then you know there are plays that sometimes don't matter. There are plays that they don't need you, and you started making your way anyway. Um, oh, when I got Baron buff, I usually try to stick around minions. Mm -hmm. Oh, Twitch just ulted. But can can he can he kill the minion? <laughs> this guy's struggling. Oh. Him <laughs> <laughs> Ping that dragon's coming up. This so your team knows so they don't get caught out mid. Ping your mid laner is back. Do you want to try to control the flow? Go to dragon now. If you ping it and you don't go, you don't go it might not tell me to go. <laughs> yeah, that See that? Probably, he was probably on he was probably on like a thousand to two thousand gold. He didn't back in a long time. Oh he stayed? Stayed? Oh. I'm shocked. Yeah, apparently after I pinged him he thumbs up and stayed. No, oh, I'm shocked. I thought he recalled. You know, I've done stuff like that as the jungler. I've uh forgotten what time it was. I forgot what time it was. Uh, you know. I guess if you think so. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Okay. Um, now shadow, please? Uh, if you feel like you're not going to have to use Hourglass, you can. What I typically do is I buy the stopwatch, and then I'll just build the shadow flame. And then once I'm done with stop, or once the stopwatch is used, then I'll continue to build Hourglass, if that makes sense. Okay. You can also buy an elixir. This is probably going to be your last fight anyway. Anything. I am. Uh, if you do get a kill, uh, I am chronically bad at remembering to stopwatch. <laughs> Don't worry. Which is bad for a fiddle main. But True, but to be fair, in... there's you just are, and then you you stopwatch. So I mean, it's a little bit more simplistic on when to use it. I'm in the middle of them. I oh, I mean, I, I use my stopwatch. Whereas yeah, but instead, what I do is I just run through them like a crazy person <laughs> and with a tank item. <laughs> I feel like Dead Man's on Fiddle. That sounds kind of cracked. I'm not gonna lie. I actually get Abyssal and Thorn Mail because Thorn Mail procs if you immobilize them anyway. Really? Like, really no matter how. About it. Yeah. Actually, I think you're right. Yeah. Oh, because they changed it. Good 
flash. We won't talk about the laser, but we'll say good flash. Because the flash is so <laughs> <was> good. <laughs> what laser? I don't remember a laser. <laughs> yeah, what ability is that? This guy throws knives. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm playing Talon. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> he just vanished. Alright, well... This seemed pretty easy. No! Oh. I didn't stop watch. I could have lived that. I think. See? Dominate the thing. Maybe somebody will be smart enough to just smack it. Just, it just hit it! <laughs> so tragic. Who are they even talking to? Mort, if you don't smack this goddamn. Okay. Mort, just hit the damn Nexus, bro. You died 30 times. We don't even dude, care. Dude, just fucking smack it. Oh my goodness gracious. He's like, I got I got something to prove, dude. It's like, I need my S rank. <laughs> I can't have a D. With <laughs> my ego shattered. Oh. oh my gosh. This is actually insane. This is actually insane. Jesus. Oh, the, the Senna is saying he's gold. Who, the more? No, the Senna. No, I mean the Mort is gold? Or is Senna saying no. that they're gold? Senna saying they're gold. Oh, I got you. Uh, not going to be able to just rush it down. Definitely not, but Viego can't, so you can probably distract him. Just walk into base with him. And then focus you, maybe. Ah. Alright, that'd be though. Oh, he's, he's just he's going, going for he's it. He's got it, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. All right. All right. So you can see what I mean by that was the last fight. This is why we buy the elixir. Understanding the, the flow of the game is very, very important because you can itemize efficiently to it. Again, Shadow Flame, cool, but you need Banshees, though, because you kept getting caught. And again, it doesn't mean you suck. There's just some games where it's impossible not to get caught, and that was one of them. Yeah, because they got dashy assassins that'll mm -hmm. get to you no matter what you do. Exactly, exactly. So unless you position like fate here, well, maybe not. That's not a good example. Uh, maybe <laughs> <laughs> this world's just sad. That's how we could have played better. Um, but if you position well, well, you know, you're not going to get killed. But, like, that's very, very hard very thing hard to ask when you're learning the game. That's like a challenger like type a challenge. of thing. That's like a, a Grandmaster Master thing where you position really well without actually having to think about it. Um, but that's because but that's there's the, so, much, so skill much skill when they're playing. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't know if you've ever seen a challenger play, but like actually seen them play, it's really nuts because it's like it's a whole new like game. It's pretty crazy. How do you feel about that game? Um, I feel it was kind of like a mediocre wander through the par park. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, about as exciting as a uh, afternoon nap on a summer day. <laughs> uh, Depending on the dream you have, maybe that's exciting. Yeah, it was neat though. I think that you did a good job. Um, these are the games, are the games where if you play like this like every this game, every you'll game. win a lot more of your games. Um, a, a lot of players have the same type of thought process as you, where it's like, I didn't really feel like there was much to it. You know, it just felt like I played the game. But yeah. that's because you're not used to playing the game on a macro level. Everything you did in that game, it came to fruition with um, not necessarily your button clicks, but more about how we played the game itself. And that's the easiest way to climb because that is hey. consistent. Because I know I probably wouldn't have pinged the dragon like that. My jungler just would have, you know, fucked off to Narnia uh, <laughs> after killing the Aatrox and the Diana for right. no <laughs> reason. Uh, probably wouldn't have gotten Rift Herald because I wouldn't have even thought of it. Mm -hmm. Certainly wouldn't have bought the uh, um, potion at the end there because I don't think of that until I'm full build. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of these things like matter, and a lot of these things are not 
you know, glorify. I mean, even if you watch like pro players, they don't like pro play. They don't glorify that type of stuff. They don't glorify some of these macro decisions unless it's a really big team macro play. But when it's individual, they don't ever speak on it. They just start talking. So like, you don't really know what's happening. You can stop sharing right. your screen. I uh, okay. have some things to talk about here. Um, I think overall, overall, you did a good job. Did a good job. Um, there's obviously there's some things that I think we need to work on. But mm -hmm. that's over here, right? So, um, loading up the game here. About to share my screen. Let me know when you could see it. Waiting. Oh, there we go. All right, solid. Yes. Um, have it all the way down. All right, all right. So when you're playing, you know it's just kind of good to think about your matchups, not just yours as a mid laner, but also the ones that you're going to be around and impacting. If you're top lane, obviously you have less to think about. If you're bot lane, you have less to think about. But as a mid laner, you have to think about everybody, including yourself. When we look at an Aatrox, like I said, it's kind of grief, but theoretically, he's kind of an early game jungler. And Diego is kind of an early game jungler. So you're going to be looking at a lot more scraps than you would usually look at. Which is why, you know, it felt like they were fighting all the time. But that's just how they're supposed to play. And so having that knowledge going into this game where it's like, okay, well, I know that they're going to be scrapping. I got to look to rotate. And if I can't rotate, I got to make sure Diana doesn't rotate. That way, at least it's a 1v1. That's the best I could do, you know. Um, when there's times, th there's some players that tend to just like... And they're Victor players too, where they're like, well, I have to get my farm. Then again, that's cool. But depending on your matchups, you can't play like that, period. Or are you gonna you're going to lose. If Aatrox starts dominating this Viego because you feel like you have to AFK farm, and now you're dealing with a fed Aatrox, and a fed Camille because she got fed too. Then... Yeah, fed Aatrox is never a fun time. Right, and then what if Diana got fed because she rotated, but you didn't? <clears throat> what are you going to do? Use your farm to win? It's three v versus one, basically. You know, three Fed players versus you. Your bot lane is still a toss-up. Like, why put yourself in that position when you can sacrifice yourself a little bit to make sure things happen? And I do like that about you. You have really good awareness. Um, I want to say in laning phase. Post laning phase, I'm saying your awareness is, like, down the tubes, but you could definitely see that it drops a bit. Um, in laning phase, your decision-making is, like, really good. Thinking about when you want to go. I really, really like that about you, and I think that's one of your strengths that you should be continuing to build off of. You understand, like, okay, whatever, there's something here. Um, no. And you go back to doing what you're doing. Like, that, that skill right there is, like, one of the best skills you can have as a player. Identifying the play, can I make anything of this? No, I'm staying. Yes, I'm going. Like, that's huge. So, really build off of that. That's huge. It's a really, really good thing that you're doing. Um, the first thing we want to do is talk about this 830 here. And then we'll continue our conversation. I just don't want to forget about this fight. All right, so... This is where I so we can position a little bit better. Okay. So you're doing your thing. You're like, oh, hey, a fight. Which is good. We understand he's six and he's five. So right now, we're like easily able to win. First off, ping your team. She needs to know that we want to fight. She's already like, mm, we're leaving. Oh, we're fighting. If you could have turned her around before you got there, that could have been a 2v1 on that Aatrox. Uh, this person's going to come around, and then you just zone him off, and then he's dead. End of fight. Okay. But this fight kind of came a lot longer of a fight. Uh, one thing I will also notice is that you're very flip-floppy between who you're focusing. And so we'll just use this same situation throughout the entire game. You have a person here, and then you have people here with your team. Usually what you'll do is you'll go after the team, but if your team doesn't need you, you can go after this person. But then if your team needs you sometimes, you'll do what you did here, and you'll go after this person instead of helping your team. So you, when, you, when the fights are split up, it's best to really identify which you want to focus. And that actually happened here. I believe this is one of the fights. Okay, yeah, this is actually... Damn, I'm good. Okay, so this is actually one of the fights here. <laughs> you see how like your team is fighting over here, right? Yeah. Right now... We can assume that he got it. We can assume. I mean, look at the center's there. Caitlyn's there. He's kind of low, but we, he got it. I mean, this is what we see. Because it's not. It's unfair to show you what we don't see. So this is what we see prior to this little altercation. So we're making our way now. 
You seen Twitch was there. Kept going. And you see Diana. Why I seen her. Maybe you're focused a little bit on that. But you see her here. I was actually kind of focused on the Diana. Oh, then yeah. That's what I would have liked uh, to see you fight her. I, I was trying to just zone her while I helped their fight. Yeah, I would have liked to see you just like one bang her. Okay. Or at least like what you said, just zone. Because if you gated here, this dude has to walk through it. And if she wants to go, she has to walk through it. Job done. You trapped okay. her. So I also do want to see, and I'll write this down too. Um, you wrote a few things down. Um, so what you're going to say is, have a better target priority fights. Focus in the line. And then the fifth thing here that I want to write is just use your uh, abilities more with sense. I feel like a lot of your abilities are just being flung out. And the only time you're actually thinking about using your abilities are when you're comboing. So I want to see you use your abilities a little bit better in a sense of, like I just said here, this was just kind of a brief example. But I, like I feel in. like I have more sense of purpose during the first 15 minutes of the game. Yeah, like I can like, say, you, you definitely hyper aware during those moments, for sure. But as the game goes on, my awareness seems to, you know, I think that's my biggest weakness, really. Mm -hmm. And it's normal. And it's, normal. it's normal. I wouldn't worry too much about it, but it's definitely something that you want to, again, consciously think about. You know, when we're playing and I'm getting to mid lane phase, okay, well, specifically, I'm thinking about the fights that I want to participate in. You know, my prio, like, who am I going to focus? And just think about that every single time you fight. It's a very easy way to get that uh, tool in your tool belt. Um, okay. I always refer to concepts as tools in your tool belt because not every game is going to use them. And that's one of the gripes that I have with, like, videos that teach things because sometimes they're teaching one scenario and then they'll come to me and they're like, well, coach, I learned this. And it's like, that doesn't happen every game, so you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, we have to relearn everything. Um, okay, so the first thing that I wrote was hit level two first if you can and then go for the trade. Very important here for us to think about. You are already about to hit level two. And... You could have hit level two before you went for your trade. I love the trade though. It was it was good, but you're really close to two. You could just wait before you went for the trade right here. You're like one minion off. If you want to just like hit this minion to get it low, and then start your combo and laser through the minion and her, smack level two. She doesn't even see it coming. Way better of a trade. Make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 It's only because the window of that ability is massive. You're running first strike. So you're going to have to wait anyway. So why don't you get the most out of it when you use it? The same thing with Electrocute. Um, area a little bit more forgiving because it comes back really quickly. But for those high cooldown keystones, definitely start timing your stuff a little bit better so that you can get the most out of it. Again, good trade. Solid trade. But this could have just been way better here. Um, let me revisit the matchup thing too. So as far as top lane goes, he should be winning. How he lost is beyond me. Bot lane... Um, this is more of a poke lane, so we know that they're probably going to be under tower a lot more, meaning that they might be low enough for you to just come down and get a free kill. So top is going to be pretty scrappy. He should win. Bot's going to be very pokey. They should be low. And so with that in mind, maybe Diana goes top, or you clear minions, or a fight's happening up here and you can't participate, check bot real quick. Maybe they're low enough for you to do something about it. And throughout the game, we'll see if that's what happens. Um, the second thing here... If you're gonna uh if you're gonna combo and continue to chase walk with them if you're looking to disengage walk back so this is one of the things that will be very helpful in the long run and i can use this as an example maybe um no you didn't do it here because it wasn't really that long of a fight uh let's just see okay if you got any questions too for free to like pop them out um oh oh uh, now i'm back okay uh-oh what happened, oh, what happened? My internet went out for a bit. Uh-oh, what was the last um, thing that you heard? So, last thing I heard was um, was about, like, if Diana is fighting up in the top, uh, maybe I can go down bottom and get something. And I said, so look for plays where matchups are most uh, volatile. Mm, I want to say yes and no. Um, let's just say, again, this is like, I'm going to just use Darius and Renekton. You know, they're probably not going to sit down. So that is a matchup where you can look to, you know, impact. But a situation like this, although it will be kind of scrappy, uh, once those guys started losing, it's not worth it. 
So to a degree, yes, but also if it's going to get to a point where it's a hindrance, you're not looking for that. And as a victor, you're not really looking to roam that often. You're looking to really just rotate if necessary. But again, like if you already shoved up and they're already busy, that is your moment where you can look. You know, you're not like playing Zed or Talon or Katarina where they can just leave lane and go get stuff. So, um, yeah, it's kind of like a, a double-edged sword. You just really got to make sure you don't screw yourself over. So I don't want to say look for it, but if you see the opportunity, take it. Is that a little bit better? Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Because, like, yeah, I've, I've screwed myself over plenty of times playing like that with the control mage. It is not to play. Um, I'm trying to find it where you do your fight. Okay, so this is huge. You're already starting your fight. So we need to start moving. Or walking with her. So that way we're closer. You see how you're always spaced so far away from her? If you're going to continue to fight... And now this example... Maybe a little bit bad, just because she'll fly back on you, and you don't really want that. But if you're gonna do that, then you start disengaging. You start walking backwards instead of chasing her. So, you wanna see it here. Go on her, start walking backwards. Just hit her with it and walk back. You see how you're kinda just sitting there? Mm -hmm. Now you're chasing, which is fine. But walk back, and you're still sitting there. And now you walk back. Like, these little increments is how she can catch you, she can catch you slipping. And that's what happened in this game. Really thinking about those because you are a sitting duck. You might look like, oh, you're really, really in a good spot. She's low. But then, yeah, she does a lot of damage just like that. And she could have honestly just dashed on you again and just killed you right here. I don't know what she was doing. She eat one Silver. more time on you and ult you, you're done. Yeah, because she could have dashed from me from that circle because she had the reset. Right, and that was your defense. That was the only thing that was going to keep you alive. Well, you yeah. Exhaust, don't get me wrong, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, oh, I did have exhaust. Be very cautious on that. Okay. Um, control the pace of the game. Try to have your team play with you. Don't force yourself to play with them. This is one of the things, especially that I see in lower elo. And when I say lower elo, I don't mean like just silver. This is seen in platinum. This is seen. This is even seen in yellow diamond. This is seen in gold. This is seen everywhere. Everybody likes to play with their team a little bit too much, and it hinders their performance. There's a lot of times where I caught you trying to help them, and I was like, no, 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 this is you can't do anything. Now these are things that you should be able to see because again, you're putting yourself back. It's not wrong to want to help your team, but it is wrong to help your team in a situation that you can't impact anyway. It makes no sense. And it just okay. puts you behind. So you have to be very, very careful, careful about that. Because um, if you ruin your if you ruin like your ability to carry, you're relying on your team to carry you. And I'm going to say they don't know how to carry because they're in, their, they're, they're in your elo. If they knew how to carry, they wouldn't be here, period. So, Most yes. people in my elo don't know how to even end a game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's true. That's true. Games last really long here. I mean, watch the Mord. Just hit the Nexus. That's what true. You Your whole entire team was just... Yeah, I don't know. We don't... I've seen games lost because people did that before. It's just... Oh, yeah. Not okay. I've watched Wood Division. <laughs> this is your weekly reminder to hit the Nexus. <laughs> Uh, the fourth thing here is just have it have better target prior during your fights. Really think about who to focus and why. I'm just gonna go over another brief fight here. I'm pretty sure just anyone that I click will be in the same sense. So right here, I think this is really solid by you, by the way. But there's still things we can improve on to, you know, play a little bit better here. So this happens, which is fine. But start moving. Like you're very frontliner in focus. You gotta use that movement speed that you're getting from your uh, from your Q and really bob and weave in these fights. Okay. Um, again, you see how you swapped your focus. Why don't you just shoot that laser on him? Read their body language. This guy is not done. This guy is not running away. This is how this is how people get free kills. This is like the easy secret sauce play. If you can think about what they're gonna do next and just punish them for it, it's huge. Look at this guy. He runs away. You get the flash. He even flashed away. Right. And, and then he just clear. comes right He's back. Coming back. Why is he why are you walking this way if you don't want to fight me? So act like you're focusing this guy and just pop this guy with an E and he's dead. So just kinda like uh you're kinda flip flopping between the two. You're still focused on that, you didn't smack him. He was done. I mean you got him, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> just an example. Not saying you played right. that horribly wrong or anything, but like really thinking about how you're fighting these fights are huge. Why was this guy running away? It's so triggering. He, yeah, he could have killed me right there because yeah. it was a fed, a, uh, wow, I can't remember the name of the champ. Camille. Now. Camille. A fed Cammy versus a Vic. 
and just could have murdered me completely like half health me in two hits and then goes you know what i give up yeah it's it's like uh jason Voorhees coming after you and then right before cutting your head off going i'm bored <laughs> just and she had a knife there's literally yeah. no way she doesn't kill you there speaking yeah. of which you said cammy which reminds me the street fighter girl in street fighter is cammy it's- and she yeah. uses her legs, right? Or does she use her hands more? Oh, yeah, she uses her legs. She's got, like, huge, huge-ass legs. That's what I yeah. thought. So is it yeah. a coincidence that Camille... Oh, no, certainly not. <laughs> uh, I actually call Camille Cammy most of the time when I, uh, when I remember her name. Honestly. Like, <laughs> she wasn't in the game when I left before, and some of the characters that they added, I just don't care about. Right. Um, Some of them you don't even know what the hell they do. There's so many students that come in and are like, dude, I haven't played in like a year. What is going on with this game? <laughs> well, there's only like three champions that I literally have never actually played. One of them's Yasuo, just because I'm not a weeb. But hey, that's hey, the point. hey! <laughs> I was a Yasuo one trick before. Okay, I had like 1.3 mil on that dude. But uh, for me, you know, the art design is more important to me. So, like, evil guys, monsters, that kind of thing. That's a lot of fun for me. Right. So I, know, I stick to that. When I came back, I played a lot of uh, Kindred. Uh, but I played her as ADC because jungle was confusing to me. Uh, mm-hmm. And then when I jungled with her, she didn't feel strong, even though she's really strong. So. Right. I put her down and picked up Rek'Sai, and I did really, like, I was doing better with her. Um, and then I played Kiana, just because I really like how she looks, but can you imagine a guy with no mechanics for the past couple years trying to play Kiana mid? There's some people that think she's super easy. I'm like, she's like one of the most mechanical, <sighs> intensive champions in the game, because you need to literally do everything right for it to work you need all your fingers to work you need everything to work for that shit to work and it's like nah but the thing is i play her really well in a ram like i murder people's faces off in a ram but the thing is when i play on summoner's rift i'm not really a fan of assassins i got you even though i i did play some kha'zix and it was not too bad but the thing is with kha'zix if your team doesn't realize that you're not going to gank if they can't uh, help, like, clear the fucking wave first, it's really frustrating. Because some games I'll do really well because my team, you know, they know, hey, he's coming. Let's, you know, get things cleared out. But then some games I'll just do ass because uh, I can't make any plays because I'll be jumping into 50 minions every time. Right. Right, yeah. A lot of the a lot of ganking as a jungler is about how your teammates also set you up, and you don't really get that much of a setup until you're in the higher elos. Unfortunately, that's why I do my best to try to tell laners to like learn how to play with their jungler because it's so op if you can just play with this guy. That's why Rexai and Fiddlesticks. Like, I like how I can just catch people with them, and it doesn't really matter what the setup is, right? As right. much because right. like Fiddlesticks is his own setup. The enemy sets themselves up, basically. That fear is ridiculous. That thing yeah. lasts forever. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, let me get to this last point. I think that is actually the last point. No, there's one more. Use your abilities with more uh, of a, a sense of purpose. Again, this is something that I want to see consistent. It, it, League is all about consistency. Yeah, you might do it once or twice here and there, but it's got to be throughout every single game. It's got to be throughout every single minute. That's how okay. you are going to climb um, from the get-go. So I always leave homework. The homework is the things that I think if you worked on these, they would be the things to help skyrocket you to your next level. So uh, personally, I think controlling the pace of the game from the way that you're playing, from the way that I'm speaking up, it just feels like a lot of the time you'll just go with the flow. You know, you'll do what you need to do to help your team as much as possible, but you're not making things happen. And the problem with this is that if your team is filled, how do they know what to do? They, they won't. A lot of players I'll ask, okay, if I put you in the jungle, do you know where to go and what to do? They're like, no, I don't even know how that works. Go figure. <laughs> so like, if you can see a free dragon, tell them because they don't know that sometimes you know um the next thing that i think is i want to say four and five having your prowess better and then using your abilities with a purpose and they kind of go hand in hand um but yeah i think that 
I think that you're a pretty solid player. Solid don't get player. me wrong. It's just little tweaks that are going to get you caught. Little little tweaks that are going to get you to lose your games. And they're going to be the smallest thing. You might be doing really well for like 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And then like one dumb thing that your team does or that you participate in, you lose game off of. And we want to prevent those. So that's going to be the thing that don't, that'll hold you back. So I'm Okay. Do you have any uh, questions about any of this? Uh, um... I not really uh yeah i i guess uh telling other people like the game i've i've done phil as a role for a really long time when i was just starting again mm -hmm. and like so i've tried all the roles so i should know how they all work but whenever i'm playing in one role i do i'm like i don't really want to think about what they're doing like that makes sense I, that makes sense. i try not to think about what my team's doing but i think i'm like looking at it wrong See, my favorite type of game is actually tactical, um, like RPGs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So really, I, I guess I just have to start looking at it like um, my teammates are units, and I can help them yeah, get to the right exactly. spot. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. 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 And I again, don't confuse it that, that way. with thinking that you're better than all of them. That is like that's one of the horrible. Like that's one of the most horrible thing that I hear constantly. And usually it's like, because there's some type of high elo person that was telling them how to play and they're being all macho. Your team are bots. They're, they're useless. They're not even there. Act like they don't exist. And it's like, dude, that's not how you play League of Legends. Like, what the hell? All right. So don't get that far into it. But yeah, you are right. You know, to an extent, you know, as long as you're doing your best, as long as you're performing well, start using them like that. Start really understanding. But if you're getting behind, you don't have really a say so on what goes. You just play with your team and pray that they carry you. Yeah. Um, Again, I think you got what you, I think you got what you need to uh, climb. It's just about tweaking. It's about tweaking what you're doing, tweaking your team fights, tweaking your ability usages, and really tweaking how you're playing with your team. Don't let the game just unfold on itself. Really dictate what's the next play. Dragon's coming up. Let's go dragon. Rip's coming up. Let's go rip. This fight is bad. Let's recall, dude. Our ADC just recalled. Why are you guys trying to fight? Back, back, back. Recall. Like those type of things just to control the game. Oh it's yeah, I'd hate nature. when I'd play as ADC and my entire team would fight without me. And it's like, ADCs were made for team fighting. What are you doing? Right, right. And they don't really pay attention. And so if you ping them, it'll start to give them an idea like, oh, dang, you're right. I didn't even notice. There's times right. where people are going to be sitting on like 1, 2k gold. Like I said, Diego's been sitting on gold for a long time. I think, let me just check his gold real quick. I don't want to take too long. Yeah, I, I thought so. Dude has 1400. I knew he did, which is why I was like, he's trying to recall. But he decided to stay. But some people might think that you're trolling for recalling. It's like, well, I have 1,400 gold, and we fight, and they spent their 1,400 gold. Guess who's not as strong as I could have been? Guess who's probably <laughs> behind them at this point? This yeah, I've heard so. that quite a few times when I've been watching videos. Because, like, I, I watch Skill Capped and Nice and uh, Rav but, mm. and Ross Boom Socks. But... <laughs> He's great. I love him. Uh, he's really he's the reason I played set uh, in a mastery seven set. Hey. Anyway, interesting. I don't want to like take up uh, too much overtime after the hour. That's all right. That's all right. I, I always like I always say I just want people to end the session with an idea of what's going on. I don't want to be that guy that ends it unless there's someone after you. Then obviously I don't really have a say so in that. So yeah, go ahead and ask your question, and we'll just conclude there. Uh, I mean, I think I'm good on questions. Ah, uh, you know, uh, sort of egg on my face for choosing to do this right at the end of the season, but you know, that's all right. That's all right. That's a lot of people do that. It's because they want to get prepared for the next one. That'll just put me in a higher elo for my promos. That too. So, yeah, for your placements. Yeah. So if yeah, you improve your more this season and then preseason, you'll place a lot higher. So if you get like yeah. platinum at the end of the preseason, you'll place at like gold one, gold two, and then you'll just be like that. Nice. All right. Um, again, if you got any questions, feel free to let me know. I'm going to send you this once we're done. But if you got any questions, let me know. If you're like, hey, coach, you know, this fight I rotated to at seven minutes. When you get a chance, you take a look. The KDA of the game is this. It only takes me about two to three minutes to just open it up. Be like, ah, yeah, that was actually good. Or, oh, no, that was bad. So, like, feel free to continue to use me um, when, you're, when you have those questions. Hit me on the DMs, okay? Okay. Well, I really appreciate it. No problem. No problem. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later, okay? I'm going to go play League now. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>
Bye. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys are interested in coaching, of course, coachbooker.com is where you want to go. Um, right now, I am doing a special where if you book with PayPal, you will be able to get a buy one and get one free. So make sure you do that before the end of the season, which is the 15th. Thank you guys for watching again, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace, peace, late, late. Thank you guys for approaching this. Like a coach.